see, what nurse has, um, has really meant a lot to me in the sense of, you know, being my mentor, my coach. Um, he's also my manager as well when I played for Barbados on the 19 team. And also as an icon here at the Cricket Legends of Barbados. Um, I first got the opportunity to watch Seymour play um, as a youngster, about nine or ten years old, at Kensington Oval. And then um, coming from Hordersville, everybody from the area, you know, we had great admiration for him. All of us wanted to bat like him, walk like him, talk like him. You know, he used to copy a lot of his shots. Just to watch him walk to the crease, you know, was a joy to watch. And um, I remember an incident where when he came down the stairs and his usual way, his swag, look up in the sky, right shoulder drop. My friend said, let's go home. I said, no, we can't go home. I come here and watch him play. He said, no, we have seen enough. It doesn't matter how many runs he's made. You know, it's Seymour Nurse just walking to the crease. It's really a joy to watch. I remember I struggling to play against the spinners and he would say to me, you've got to take off the front pad. And I would say, what? And he said, yes, he said, well, I'm sure that if you don't have any pads on, then you will let the bat lead and go towards the ball. And that is something that even now in my coaching days, you know, I always say to youngsters who are jerking their foot at the ball and not letting the bat lead, you know, to, you know, take off the front pad and, you know, let the bat, the bat lead. So um, he's also helped me a lot and uh, I follow a lot of his coaching philosophy and he was always there to help. And it's not only my one, you know, He's helped Wayne Daniel, Tyson Payne, Carlyle Bess, Ian Bradshaw, a lot of the other guys who went on to play cricket for Western New Seymour Nurse was a, a very intricate part of their whole success and, and their cricketing life. Seymour was, besides a first class cricketer, he was one of the greatest we have had in, in Barbados. Uh, he was a gentleman, a real gentleman, and um, you couldn't have a, a milder and more pleasant individual as a partner on any touring team when Seymour was present. And he was there to give you some great jokes as well, you know. He, um, he always will enlighten up a situation and um, it was never a dull moment with him. Um, I really enjoyed my stints with Seymour. Um, Seymour was always there to give me all the support he possibly could and indeed he was a pleasure to be a member of any touring team. The youngsters, those who have had the opportunity to have um, been coached by him, would have appreciated the good work he has done for them. And I'm sure those who were unlucky not to have had it would have missed a, a real opportunity of increasing and improving their, their ability as um, good cricketers. Seymour was indeed uh, fine gentleman and we at the legends will certainly miss him because he, he was always here to give us uh, some advice as far as the youngsters were concerned and I'm sure that all of us would certainly miss him. Seymour, do rest in peace. Gone too soon. Um, as I remember Seymour, Seymour was what I would like to describe as a humble, humble giant. He was a gentleman. I have never seen him upset yet. I've never seen him mad. I played with him at Bank Hall. And I've learned so much from people like Seymour, Charlie, Sir, Sir Charles Griffith, Sir Everton Weeks. We all played together. And Seymour would solely be missed in the Caribbean, not only in Barbados, but within the Caribbean region. He was an inspiration to many, many people whom he coached. He coached many, many people here in Barbados, even at Empire Club. As we go in at night um, after the game, we would spend hours and, um, looking over the game and reflecting on the, the game that we would have played. Um, and he always gave great advice to, to those who would listen. Uh, you know, unlike some of the young players today, they don't listen too much. Um, and what is missing was discipline. And Seymour was a disciplined player. Uh, I remember him as one of the best dressed cricketers on the field. 
he was always immaculately dressed and his whites were always white, as it were. So he would sorely be missed and may he rest in peace and rise in glory at the coming of Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ comes back to this world. And I'd like to con convey my condolence to his family his, and the immediate family, his fans and all the members of Empire Cricket Club. And I've always found Seymour to be a, a good, strong coach and somebody who really loved cricket and wanted to spread the cricketing word. You know, and I think he's going to be, a, this is going to be a loss. This is going to be a loss to the cricketing world, not only to Barbados, but the region, and most of all to the young kids that he had married and really wanted to see progress. He has made a significant contribution to cricket in Barbados and also in the region. You know, Simon Nurse is going to be a great loss uh, for the cricketing fraternity. And um, again, we just want to offer our condolences to the family.